Welcome back to another video, and today we have the all-new Traxxas TRX-4M and the Axio SCX-24. Both of these are small crawlers that you can buy, and I'm going to be going over uh, some of their similarities, their differences, and which one I prefer, and then I'll post some driving clips of them at the end. The TRX-4M has just come out a few days ago, while the SCX-24 has been out for a couple of years. The TRX-4M is slightly bigger than the SCX-24, being 18th scale, while the SCX-24 is 124th scale. Both of the trucks have a solid axle front and rear. Both of them have different license bodies. The TRX-4M has a hard body, while the SCX-24 is just a Lexan piece. Under the trucks, you will see that they have a similar link suspension. Both of them are four-wheel drive with lock diffs. The SCX24 shocks are not oil filled, so it is pretty bouncy, while the TRX Forum does have oil filled shocks. And both of these trucks have an easy release body system. The SCX24 is just a piece of Velcro, while the TRX Forum uh, has two big clips in the front one in the front, one in the back, then the body pops off. Under the bodies, you will notice that both of the trucks have the servo mounted directly to the front axle. Both of the trucks have metal side rails. The TRX-4M's motor is much bigger than the motor inside of the SCX-24. The batteries in the trucks are mounted in a similar spot, just the TRX-4M one is turned, while this one is straight. The ESC and receiver unit in the SCX-24 is in the very front of the truck, while in the TRX-4M it is in the very back. Both of the trucks have fairly grippy tires for off-road terrain, but it feels like the TRX-4M just has a little bit more grip in the tires. The TRX-4M is fully waterproof, while the SCX-24 is not waterproof. The shocks on the TRX-4M are screwed on, while on the SCX-24, they are just popped on. But I say it's time we get the bodies back on these trucks. With the batteries plugged in with the body on, you can see both of the lights in the front bumper. Both of the trucks have fast and powerful steering, but the SCX24 steering is just a lot faster. When testing throttle, you can see how the bigger motor in the TRX4M is faster than the SCX24. It just has more speed because of that bigger motor. Each of the trucks has a pretty good amount of articulation. The TRX4M has about, I'd say, two inches, and the SCX24 has... Also about two inches, so their articulation is pretty similar. I'm going to be testing how steep each of these trucks can climb, how well they crawl, how well they off-road, and just how well of a truck they are in total. So starting off with 30 degrees and the steepness test is the SCX24, which does it with no issue. And then the TRX4M, also doing it, no problem. Increasing the steepness to 40 degrees. The SCX24 does it no problem again. And the TRX4M does it. We can see that the front wheel is starting to pop up there. So now at 50 degrees, the SCX24 can do it. But if you see, those front wheels are barely touching the ground. Now the TRX4M at 50 degrees. You can hear the body starting to scrape on the ground. Oh, and that front wheel is fully off the ground, but it can do it. Then finally at 60 degrees. Oh. oh. And then the TRX-4M at 60 degrees. That rear approach angle is getting stuck in the way. Yeah, no chance. So both of these trucks have a pretty good steepness. They can both do around 50, but I give the overall win to the SCX24 because on the 50 degree hill, the wheel was uh, barely off the ground, while on the TRX4M, the, this whole left wheel was fully off the ground. The next test is a descend test. See which one can descend better. So start off with TRX4M at 40 degrees. No problem. And then the SCX24... Yeah, no problem either, no scraping. Now descending from 50 degrees, the TRX-4M. 
no problem. But at the bottom, oh, clears with no bumper scraping. And then the SCX24. Also clears with no bumper scraping. The TRX 4M at now 60 degrees. Descends fine, but at the bottom, the front bumper scraped and the back bumper scrapes. So it can make it, but there's some scraping. And then the SCX24. The back bumper scrapes, but the front one cleared. So after that test, I just, I'm giving this one a draw for both of the cars. Both of the cars were able to do 40 and 50, no problem. But at 60 degrees, the both of their bump, back bumpers did scrape. And I think a little bit of the TRX 4M's front bumper did, but I'm going to call it a draw. The next challenge is going to be the car crawl. So first up is the SCX24. Comes down the windshield, over the wiper, and success. Next up is the TRX 4M. It does get stuck on the wiper, the rear bumper, but it's able to make it off. That was just kind of for a little bit of fun, but next up is the off-roading test. So first up is the TRX 4M. This is just a little bit of mulch and bushes. Car does it fine. Here's a little bush. Using its turning through this bush oh hitting a light and then heading out easy next up is the scx24 you can see that it is much slower than the trx 4m and you can see the lack of the oil filled shocks how bouncy it is but it still does off-roading just fine can easily go through here i think the trx 4m's turning circle is slightly better and you cut through here and done so after the mild off-roading both cars did it easy it was just a little bit of mulch some grass some bushes but if you just want to take your uh mini crawler out and just drive it in the dirt both of these cars will do it just fine and the final test is just a little pushing test both cars have a red line behind them so three two one Uh, round two. The SCX24 does perform better, but I think because of its smallness, it can get under the bumper of the TRX4 and flip it. But after all of those tests, which one comes out as the win? Overall, both of these trucks are some very capable small crawlers, but I still think that the TRX4M and the SEX20, they're pretty equal in their stats. I didn't do any like real t rough crawling tests with them yet. I'll do those later. But overall, they both performed really good in the steepness test. The SEX24 did do a little bit better on the going up because of the TRX4M's lower approach angle. And But overall, both of them are really great trucks. If you're looking to pick one up, both of these are 150, but the SEX24 has multiple body styles and some of them they range from $125 to $160 and both the, the TRX4M models are $150. But that's the end of this comparison. Hope you enjoyed it and I will be doing a lot more content with both of these trucks in the future. So stay tuned.